Kieran Murray, Corbett Loch. I was contacted by a young lady who wanted to know if I had a photograph of Corbett Loch that she could use on her wedding invitation, as she lived in sight of it. I said I didn't, but as it was only seven or eight minutes away from my home in Banbridge, I would take a run out and see what I could come up with. I picked my evening. Lovely low light with blue sky and attractive clouds. I loved the arrangement of the swans in this image. Repeat it in the cloud above. This was not the picture the bride chose. It was taken at 6am. But it was my favourite from my couple of visits. Colm McMullen Early morning at the White Bridge, Murloch. Downshire Bridge, better known as the White Bridge by locals from Dundrum and the surrounding area, is an imposing structure visible across the bay to all passers-by. It was originally built in the late 1800s as a formal access across the bay to Murloch House. Growing up, I passed by and over this bridge many times, but never stopped. This morning, I was passing by early as the tide was out and the sun was coming up. I had my camera and time to stop, so I ventured down the banks for a look. The changing tide meant the water was flat calm and the early light was soft with pastel pinks and blues. No epic sunrise, but ideal conditions to show off the bridge in all its glory. Something I learned on that day was that the core of the White Bridge is actually red brick, a construction similar to railway bridges of the same period, tried and tested, and will no doubt still be standing in another hundred years. Albert Boyle, Merganger Duck with Loch Ney Eel. I didn't have to walk far or wait long to see this pair of Magangers swimming around the jetty at the back of Oxford Island Discovery Centre. At first, the glare from the sun made photography difficult, but eventually they made their way closer to the shore where the light was perfect. This shot is one of a series of six, recording the chase, the catch, the struggle, and finally the swallow. Mergansers are one of our largest ducks, and as members of the Sawbill family, they had no problem downing a tasty Loch Ney eel in one gulp. William Clegg, Swans in the Mist on Corbett Loch. This picture was taken at Corbett Lake outside Banbridge. It is not a place I would normally go to take pictures. I have taken pictures here previously, but they were taken during the day. And as all landscape photographers know, the best light for landscapes is early morning or late evening, when the light is more muted and softer. So I planned to go there when the weather conditions were right. I always keep a close eye on the weather forecast, and one night in mid-April I saw that there would be mist forming during the night. So I rose early and arrived at the lake around 7.30 a.m. and waited until the mist began to clear and the sun began to shine through the mist. I walked around to get the best composition and as I was ready to take the shot, lo and behold, these two swans came swimming over towards me, obviously looking for food, and I managed to include them in the picture. Colm McMullen, Sunset Paddle Border on Loch Ney. This image was a combination of planning and luck. Coming to the end of a run of consistently warm days and clear nights, I took the opportunity to drive 20 minutes to Loch Ney in the hope of catching a fiery sunset. Starting at Crumlin and following the east shore of the loch, I eventually found a spot to park up at Golly's Gate 
with little time to spare. The locals were outside having barbecues and drinks as the sky started to light up. As I got my camera out of the car, I noticed a paddleboarder entering the loch. The surface was like a mirror, and the only motion were the ripples from the paddle. I abandoned my sunset idea, and instead started taking photos of the guy on the board as he paddled towards the setting sun. This is a photo that will always take me back to that perfect summer's evening. Albert Boyle, Damselfly and Munchies, Loch Ness. Munchies Moss lies along the banks of the Navy's Drain, a narrow waterway linking Portmore Loch to Loch Ness. Although it supports the most diverse dragonfly population in the country, including the rare Irish damselfly, that evening I was searching for marsh fritillary butterflies. Returning to my car without success or even taking a shot, I noticed this blue-tailed damselfly hiding in the grass. I had completely ignored the damselflies, but this one found me. Turning an otherwise unproductive visit, into a memorable encounter with nature.